Hello everyone, welcome to TIC. This is Kushal and today we will be taking a fairly simple but a popular question, group anagrams. So let's see what the question have to say. Given an array of strings, group the anagrams together. Okay, so we knew that from the question title itself. What is an anagram? So according to the definitions, a word is an anagram of the other word if its letter can be rearranged so the word would look like or let's say become the other word. Let's look at a few examples here. Consider we have these two words T and eat. So if we take the letters of the word T, T-E-A and rearrange them, we can actually make the word eat with that. So that makes these two words anagrams of each other. Just like that, tan, nut and ant and race and care are separate groups of anagrams. So to simplify, if two words are same and equal set of characters, those two words are anagrams of each other. Okay, moving on with our solution. As we saw from our discussion, these three words, T, eat and ate are anagrams of each other, right? So on what basis did we make this decision? The characters of these words, right? So if we take any of these three words and sort out its characters, this is what the sequence would look like. A, E and T. So in this scenario, what we can do is we can map these words with this sequence of characters A, E, T with a hash map. So what I mean to say is, if we have the words T, eat and A, their sorted sequence will be A, T. If we have the words tan, nat and ant, their sorted sequence will be A, N, T. And for race and care, their sorted sequence will be A, C, E, R. So once we have these sequences, what we're going to do is we're going to take each and every value of the hash map and going to return that in a list. Let's move on to the coding part and see how we code this solution. Alright, first of all, as the return type is a list of list of strings, what we're going to do is we're going to define a list of list of string and we're going to call it result new array list. Okay, we'll be checking the edge case now if strs is equal to is equal to null or strs dot length is equal to zero. If that's the case, we're just going to return the result that we defined, which will be empty for now. Okay, now we're going to define our hash map in which we're going to store our sequences with the anagrams. Hash map is going to be a string and array list hash map. Array list of string hm is equal to new hash map. Okay, so after we have defined our hash map, we can start iterating through the input array for string str of strs. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to convert the string into a character array so that it can be easily sorted. Okay, uh, char array of arr is equal to uh, str dot two char array. So this is the method we can use to convert a string into a character array. Now we're going to sort it arrays dot sort arr. We're again going to convert the character array into string. String sorted is equal to new string arr so this will convert the character array back into the string now we need to add the current string as a mapping to the sorted sequence right so for that we're gonna get the list for the current sorted sequence and list list is equal to hm dot get dot default if the sequence exists, we're going to get it. Otherwise, we're going to get a new array list. Okay, uh, we're going to add the current string to the list. str. We're going to again put it into the hash map. hm dot put sorted and list. Okay, so after that you have generated all the sequences, you need to traverse through the hash map and get all the values in the result. So for that, uh, we're going to traverse for map dot entry string array list of string. We're going to call it entry of hm dot entry set. So this is how you traverse through the hash map. Uh, we're going to get the value as an array list array list string value is equal to hm dot uh, sorry entry dot get value so this is how you get the value we're gonna put it in result result dot add 
value so i guess uh, this is a, this is it we are going to return the result in the end let's try to run it okay perfect it runs let's try to submit it awesome uh, seems like our solution is pretty fast all right let's discuss the time and space complexity so what exactly are we doing here for each and every string we are sorting it right so how much should that cost us uh, suppose a string has k characters uh, if that's the case the sorting part will take k log k right and uh, if we have n number of strings the total time complexity will be n k log k all right that was the time complexity what about space uh, we are basically storing each and every string in the hash map right so how much would that cost us if a string has k number of characters and if we have n strings that will be n into k Okay, so uh, this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.